Hello guys and welcome back to another episode here on the NSG server. You may notice something just hanging to my left hand side. Yeah, that happens to be my netherite sword. Now the last time you saw me, I didn't even have a netherite sword. So, something has happened. Well, I returned back here to the main area, to the main base, and I've been at work quite a bit. Now, I've got a whole time lapse and a whole bit to show you. We're gonna go ahead and fly back over to the base, because some things have definitely changed. Let's cue the time lapse. Boy, does it feel good to be able to fly and soar through the skies. And also, does it feel good to actually have a full-on road system? Everything is looking superb. Of course, I placed in the last couple of blocks and even added a bit of decoration in via WLIs and even a school zone. Because, hey de hey, every city has a school to go through. That took a bit of a while to go through as well with the tunnel going through the main base. But the main thing that we need to concentrate on now is street furniture. And that's where we come across my main street outside of my bay. Now, I put a poll up onto my Discord server, which is still going to be active for this episode. So if you want to vote in it, head over to the Discord server. Link will be in the description down below. And vote on which lamp design you would like. There's option A, which is this lamp here. As you can see, it's just a normal pole with a lamp on top with the daylight sensor next to there. You then have my old fashioned one with the lamp that's always on and active there. Or you have this one that basically puts it onto the left hand side or wherever side it is. So you can always see it. So these are the three votes that you have over on my Discord server. Look for the NSG SMP channel. Also, we're going to be adding some extra stuff like gutters and everything else that will have water running through it and sometimes not. So it just shows a little bit of street furniture and everything going on. And then we can start getting to build all the lovely builds that a city has. A lovely pub, a hotel, some houses, some shops and everything else just to go through. Oh, and my villagers. Unfortunately, I needed their row space. So they've had to kind of be exposed to the elements for a couple of days. I'm sure that'd be fine. While also discussing about the road furniture, I've also expanded the farming area to now cover all of this land so we can also build ourselves a barn to house some animals such as, well, you know, horses, cows, sheep, the lot. It can all be hosted right here as well as a bit more of the crops because these crops, even though they are still, you know, it's massive and I really don't ever use them, the design of this place just needs it to be a little bit more extended. I've been a little bit busy over on the creative server and I have come up with a barn design that's going to go in, well, basically this bounding box. So I've just been on stream and done some resource gathering of some leaves and some oaks and everything else and all the saplings that we possibly could need. As you can see, things are spawning in for this base and everything else. So I think it's time we do a very quick building time lapse.
the barn has now been created. The interior still is lacking some of the finer details such as the hay bales and the water things. Everything is looking a lot better and we also need to add in the storage area as well. But things are looking a lot better and we at least now have a reason for having a large extended farm. Which is something that we've actually just been doing as well on stream. Which is, you know, adding some animal pens. We've got, now got this horse pen because the horse was kind of in there already. We can have a place for sheep and cows. Just adding in that can just roam about normally in this area as well. And then just through here we have our now extended farmland. Which is a lot more, I believe we probably just doubled the size of our production that we could possibly do from this farmland. Which is absolutely superb. And then somewhere over there we'll probably have some silos just like there would be one just at the front where the cobblestone is there. I think overall this base is looking a lot better. Which hopefully you guys too. Let me know what your thoughts are of this whole entire build process down in the comments down below. Well, there we go. Everything is now complete for today's episode. We have finally managed to get ourselves this absolutely gorgeous farm build, which really coincides with everything that we've got here, including getting all of our animals, the chickens, the horse, the uh, cows, the pigs, the sheep. Everything is now available on oh, this horse. It's named his Biscuit, because the amount of times I've seen people call their horses Biscuit is unbelievable. So this horse is now called Biscuit. And through here we also have a couple of extra horses as well. And a couple of extra places for some extra animals as well to go in. As well as some extra storage for all of the extra items that we needed. This place looks this place looks absolutely majestical. And I absolutely have enjoyed this whole entire creative build process back here on the NSG server. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, you know exactly what to do. You click that like button, you click that subscribe button, because there's more NSG episodes where this came from. Till next time though, bye bye.